On today's podcast, we'll be covering week four of four on worker safety. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Ensuring the safety and well-being of your team is absolutely paramount. Stress and weather conditions can significantly impact productivity and safety, so implementing strategies that effectively address these challenges are crucial. Number one, recognize and manage stress. Warehouse work is demanding and stress is often a byproduct of high temperatures, physical labor, and tight deadlines. Make it a priority to recognize these stressors and provide employees with regular breaks, encourage open feedback, and offer access to mental health resources. Number two, adapt to weather conditions. Extreme weather can drastically affect warehouse operations and worker safety. Whether dealing with intense heat, biting cold, or high humidity, adjusting your work practices to keep your team safe and efficient is essential. Number three, operational changes for weather. To mitigate the impact of extreme weather, consider adjusting shift times to avoid peak temperature periods. Ensuring all equipment is well-maintained and properly functioning is also critical in these conditions. And last but not least, number four, review and adjust clothing standards. Proper clothing can significantly improve worker comfort and safety. Regularly review and update clothing requirements to match current weather conditions and operational demands. As always, be sure to follow the rules and regulations of your specific facility. Keeping your warehouse operations safe and within guidelines requires a proactive approach. You can create a safer and more efficient workplace by managing stress and adapting to weather conditions. Thank you for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. Until we meet next time, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcast, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.